in the form uh, the hand comes across and comes back. Now that coming back even is an application. If you know Kyusho, there's um, infinite possibility within every form you have. You could take one form, you could take the Silum Dao and make it a complete fighting system and art for yourself. And we've done that with other katas. Uh, we did that with the San Chin. You can take a look back in that and you can see the depth that you can develop once you develop the targets. If you take your mind also off the idea of everything being a block okay and just turn everything into an attacking type of an action you're going to open up your your martial art you can actually double your repertoire when you do that so we want you to open your mind let some of these concepts in you don't have to copy them you don't have to keep them as your own just to, to look and see that there's something more than just blocking or just going through the um, applications of your form so let's take this one step further. We'll go through the sequence because I want you to be able to build it. He comes in with the press. He came across with a punch. He deflected that. I've grabbed. I've turned the person. I pushed him down. Got him into the choke, but he's fighting with me. So I spread his arms. I dropped him. I turned him once again. He decided he was going to kick. I struck him. It didn't take him down. He's still viable, but he might be coming back. So that hand coming back would strike right behind the jaw. Now, this time I'm going to do something a little bit different. I'm going to face that this way, Tom, if you could. Okay, once I strike behind the jaw, you're not going to see it because the hands are going to be hidden. You're going to be watching the striking application, but you're not going to watch the pulling application, so we get a, a double uh, whammy on the nerves. So the hand pulling back, just like you're throwing into the form or the silum dao, is going to have an effect also. Let's take a look on the other side. We've dropped him down, they've deflected, parries, I pulled him in, I've turned him, I pushed him down into the choke, he reaches up, I separate, dropped him, didn't work, turned him, he decides he's going to knee me, this didn't work, so I'm going to push and pull. So you're going to notice that the pulling action as the pushing action at the same time. Okay, this can have a devastating effect. So again, he comes in with this, and we've come across with this, he's parried, I've turned, pushed, he reaches up. I dropped them, I pushed them across this way, I turned here, and then I pull. Okay, still with me? Yes. Okay. What you see, what you feel? I saw everything. <laughs> it was like a white and a black. That's and your life. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, it was a, it just went, it was a white and then there was like a black and then I was down and have a nice headache right now. Okay, so we'll fix that in a second. Okay, uh, why are you saying you, you saw the white in the dark? When I hit, the nerve runs faster than the blood. Okay, nerves are instant type of a messaging. It's like a, a split second. Okay, when I dug in the other hand on the blood systems, the, um, the arteries going up into the brain, as I did that, that's caused the blackening, but the white's gonna come first because the white, the, the nerves move, the nerve messaging moves faster than the blood can transmit what's happening to the body through the barrel receptors. So the pushing and the pulling caused that much of an effect and that kind of a strange effect where you get the white and the black at the same time, but just the, the white has the precedence.